Hello kids, Steve coming back at you with a nice Christmas mail day from the one and only Bud Stoney. But that is me. Now he said I have most of it in here. So I'm going to try to get into it safely. There's a whole lot of tape. And then he said I'll realize something in the other box goes with it. I hope I do realize it. <laughs> Excuse me. Now, I do know in the other box is a lot of stuff I bought from him on a sale he did. Just a lot of 80s and 90s cards of Hall of Famers, because I do. I like my Hall of Famers. Oh, wow. Well, I figured this, bud. Yeah. This is part of my gift. You guys got to see it. First, he, in the one bubble mailer, he put a whole bunch of other ones. And look, I got something peeking out. That's awesome. All right. <laughs> nice. He knows I like my monkeys. Oh, some Star Wars toys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And a monkey almost licking his own butt. And a couple of these, which were giveaways at, I don't know if they're McDonald's or Wendy's or just what, but it looks like we have Finn and Emperor Palpatine. Those will go great in my Star Wars collection. Let's see what we get in the next one. All right, cool. So when I go live more often, I actually have a webcam for the computer instead of it being the fuzzy built-in camera. That didn't work so hot. But, you know, you live, you learn. And in the last one here, okay, we have one. And this is how you package stuff. Notice the care and time he took to do this. Oh, wow. That's super cool. You guys may have in a couple of past videos seen, I have a wave of Brett Favre graded rookie cards. The rookie wave, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 graded 1991 rookie cards. And I got number 16, the only one I was missing. He is front and center on the checklist. Bam! And if you haven't seen them real quick, there they are up there. All of the different Brett Favre rookies. Now I have every one of them that's a regular issue. No inserts, nothing like that. But I got those. What's this? This is part of Christmas as well. And it was a team bag with... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Tanner Hawk for my rookie collection. That's really cool. But look at this. Number 5 of 25. Adrian Hauser, Milwaukee Brewers Gold Card. Oh, no. I guess that's the camo type. Because it is of 25. Focus. Kaboom. Oh, sweet. We got an Obsidian Christian Yelich. I love those. Nice Yelich. Yeah. Got the Zenith Black Yelich. Oh, dang. I got a Mickey Mantle. Ha. <laughs> Super, super awesome, cool, sweet. Now, in this one, he said, 
again, there's a, I'm not going to show you everything. I don't want to keep everyone bored off of their bejesus when there's a lot of stuff you can be doing, watching people live, joining auctions and breaks, watching football, movies, TV shows, being with your loved ones. I'm just going to look real quick. Hey, bubble wrap, that's like black gold to be. Holy crap. I got a three by five foot flag of the Green Bay Packers. Thank you, bud. <laughs> got another monkey. Love me some monkeys. There is a puzzle in here. Judging by the colors, I'm going to assume it's Green Bay Packer themed. Oh, no. I got the Roberto Clemente beanie. Wow. It's not an actual beanie. I don't believe there's no tie tag. Nope, it's a Bambino. That's cool. Roberto Clemente, one of my big PCs. I'm looking, bud. I'm looking. Okay. A foul ball acquired. Wait a minute. What? A foul ball acquired at an official double A baseball game by the one and only Bud Stoney, Portland Sea Dogs versus Akron Arrows, Hadlock Field, Portland, Maine, June 9th, 1998. Are you serious? You gave me a. He knows I've been to literally probably thousands of baseball games, 70s, 80s, 90s. 2000s up to today, I have never even come close to a foul ball, little, little on catching one. And he sent me the one he caught. Holy crap. Well, that that's something special, kids. It may not mean a lot to you, but that means the world to me. Wow. See, it's, it's stuff like that. I mean, this stuff is all fun, fine and dandy. But that, holy cow. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Bubba Fett candy dispenser. Dude. And I guess that'll be it for right now. Like I said, I did not want to bore you guys all to death or anything. Oh, actually, I did get a little on wheels. I'll just go Millennium Falcon. And I see he recycles like I do. I got this in the mail from someone. This orange bubble wrap. So I sent him a care package in orange bubble wrap, and I got it back in orange bubble wrap. Huh, and I remember this. Morrison Knudsen Kenny Fashion S&M. TBM Excavation, July 79 to 1980. The Metropolitan Sanitary District of Greater Chicago. That's cool. That's just right up my weird knick-knacky alley, bud. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you being here. There is a few more things in the box I will put on display for you at another time, but I thank you for being here, Bud. I thank you for being you. Thank you for the beautiful and wonderful gifts. Everybody, be kind to each other always, the best you know how. You see a stranger on the street, give him a thumbs up like Fonzie would. And above all else, peace.